I love my NAS, my Synology NAS. I've got the DS920 Plus. And I'll tell you what, I've now had it for about six months and I absolutely love it. Before this one, I had a whole bunch of older Synology NASs and I also had some Netgear NASs and I've played with some other brands of NASs as well. But I've got to say that this at the moment is my favorite NAS. I absolutely love it. So why don't you let me know in the comments below whether you yourself have got a DS920 Plus or if you're thinking of buying one. Oh, and I've also noticed that a whole bunch of my viewers watch a lot of my videos and that is great, but a small percentage of those are subscribed. So why don't you help me out by subscribing, clicking on the button and on the bell, because that way you also will keep up to date when I release new videos. So let's see. So I've been using it for, as I said, about six months. I unboxed it. I set it up. So of course, this is a four bay NAS. You can install four hard drives into it. You can install three, you could install two if you really wanted to. And then I started transferring all of my data over. At that point, I did have a Netgear NAS. It was a ready NAS and it was brilliant. And you can watch one of the videos, which I've got right over there, on how I transferred all the data from my old Netgear ready NAS NAS over to my new Synology NAS. It was a cool process, but there was a lot of data, right? There was a lot of stuff that had to be moved over. When actually setting up and before I actually transferred any of the data, of course you had to configure the RAID and everything like that, that came on that Synology NAS. I used the uh, Synology Hybrid RAID, the SHR RAID configuration. Of course, you can configure it in a RAID 1, in a RAID 5, in a RAID 6. Of course, the great thing about the SHR is that I can, I can actually stick mixed drives in there if I want to build up my NAS in future. Let's say I've got eight terabytes worth of storage and I want to go up to 20 terabytes of storage, I can easily do that without having to compromise my actual RAID configuration altogether. So I would recommend use that SHR RAID configuration. Once all of that was set up and the data was in there, great. I got it on my network. I moved all of my home videos, my movies. Also I set up Plex, which was brilliant. Plex right out of the box. You can install it straight from the Synology store and it's all connected to all of my TVs across my house. I've got Apple TVs around my place as well and I can just stream all of my content straight from my NAS over Plex to all of my devices throughout my house. I configured a WordPress site. I set it up with VPN. I set it up with DNS and it's running as my DHCP server as well. I actually built some virtual machines on my actual NAS itself. And you can do that. You can actually even install Windows 10 onto your NAS directly. If you're interested, here's a video around me showing you how to set up my Synology NAS to actually be able to run virtual machines directly onto it. So six months on, it is awesome. Now this is this particular one is sitting in this room that you can see right here. This is my studio setup and yep, I cannot even hear it. It is silent as anything. Like I've used some NASs that are considerably noisy. It's very, very low power. The great thing, I've got this little, um, this little app on my iPhone that actually lets me know how much power consumption is uh, happening in this space right here. So I can see when I turn it on, when I turn it off, how much that goes up and down it is minimal. So in terms of drain from my power bill, very, very small, but it's fast, it's quick. I've got it actually running with a whole bunch of Windows and Mac computers, my iPhone, my iPads, my, my family's devices, all connected into this Synology NAS for file sharing, as well as for watching movies and TV shows and all that sort of stuff. And I don't even notice any stuttering. I don't even notice any buffering. You know, sometimes with certain NAS models, you're playing Plex and it can just sort of cut out if there's something that's really, really high quality, like a 4K movie. I haven't experienced any of that. It actually works really, really, really well. So yes, go ahead, get yourself a DS920 Plus. If you don't have it, if you do have it, great. Let me know in the comments below what NAS you've got. Maybe you're thinking about getting one. Maybe you've already got one. If you want to know more in my description below, I've got a full length training course on the Synology NAS. Beginner stuff to becoming a bit more of an advanced user. So why don't you check that out? But other than that, please do what you do in the socials as well by liking, by subscribing as well to my channel to keep up to date with all of my video releases. Thanks again. Again, we'll talk to you next time.